Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Fog's World. Well, actually, good evening, maybe. It's the middle of the night here in Fog's World. And uh, we're up here at the Sky Base. I want you to do something for me. I want you to take a good look at that mob grinder. Because this is the last... Yes, hello. Because this is the last episode in which you will see it. So I'm doing something a little different. Today's save file, today's world save, is a snapshot taken just before I started this episode. So this is the last snapshot in, we, in which you'll be able to uh, download that mob grinder right there. We are going to replace it. We're going to replace it with a better one. And we're going to also add a mob sorter. And we're going to do something about all the items so that we can sort them as well. And, uh, yeah, it's the beginning of a big project here. Now, uh, I have to be a little careful. First of all, let me explain why I'm doing what I'm doing here. I, I want to put in a mob sorter. Uh, not that I need a mob sorter, just that it's something fun to build. <laughs> and that's, that's really all there is to it. <laughs> um... So we're putting in a mob sorter because uh, because I want to. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put in a much higher capacity mob sorter. We're going to get rid of the spiders. I don't need string anymore. I've got so much string, I don't know what to do with it. And if I ever do need more string, well, I've got a spider grinder down in the base underneath. So I don't need spiders in this mob grinder. But what I... Oh, hello, chicken. <laughs> yeah the fried chicken factory up there while it does still work it doesn't work really well <laughs> and they do get out and yeah oh well not everything works the way you wanted it to with the various updates things have kind of gone awry with that but i digress so uh we want i want to put in a higher capacity mob grinder uh, uh and i also want to add a mob sorter and I want to be a little bit more intelligent about how I'm dealing with the drops. I don't want to have to sort them by hand anymore. So I'm going to add a, an item sorter down below. And uh, we'll do some other things too. But I'm going to do a little bit more planning on how I lay this thing out. Uh, I don't know that the new one's going to look as nice as this one. But we'll see. Uh, I, I haven't finished the design for the mob, mob grinder yet. The mob spawner. Uh, but yeah, we're going to put in a mob sorter. We're going to put in uh, put in some other stuff. Another thing that I'm going to do here is I know in future patches they're changing the spawning rules a little bit. And what they're going to do is they're going to put in some rules where mobs get tougher based on how many mobs have spawned in the same chunk. So uh, that means that our very carefully planned drop shoot here is probably going to stop working as an effective killing mechanism. And actually, in some ways, it already has stopped working because whenever a mob with, uh, with armor spawns, that mob doesn't die from the drop. So we need to do something about that. And... Um, yeah, I have some plans. So anyway, job one is going to be to relocate these chests for now. Um, and job two is going to be to take that sucker down. So let's get busy. I need to get some chests. Uh, actually, I probably only need a couple of chests because, 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 because I will get rid of the old chests as I move them. See, so yeah, as you can see, we've got spiders, and the spiders don't ever quite die from the drop. Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And occasionally the spiders get out, which is a little annoying. All sorts of fun things that <laughs> annoy me about this one. Oh, this is a trap chest. Oh, that's interesting. I don't really want a trap chest. Let me get a regular chest. Let's get a regular chest. which of course I don't have at the moment. So that's easy enough to fix. Regular chest. Let's make another one though. There we 
go. All right, so now we have a regular double chest. And let's start moving things away. For now, I'm just going to put them here in the corner. Oh, I got to get rid of all the crap in my inventory. Let's do this. Should be good, should be good. So we will likely speed this part up as it's going to be a little bit on the boring side. I'm sorry, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. Unfortunately, these things don't move themselves. Oh, wait, they would if I put in hoppers, but no. <laughs> Putting in hoppers just to move these a few feet. Ah, no. Too much work. Alright, well we got the chests out of there. As you can see, we do have a problem with mobs not dying. Mobs with armor don't die. So we filling that up? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we're about ready. About ready to start demolition proper here. Uh, this is going to be the last thing to go, this stuff down here. So we're going to start up at the top. We're going to work our way down. And... Uh, Let's get busy. Let's get busy. Now, a little sad to see this go, but the reality is I never really used it. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Easy enough to rebuild if we ever decide we want to do that. So another consideration that I have here that I have to keep in mind is I've got these iron golem farms, these iron farms over here. And so I have to be careful with uh, what I do with regard to doors and villagers in this area. Uh, if I put doors or villagers too close to the iron golem farms, it'll mess up the iron golem farms because doors will contribute to the village boundaries and so I have to be careful to make sure they're far enough away I don't think it's going to be a problem because what I have planned has has uh, any doors and villagers quite a distance away from them so I'm really pretty sure that I don't need to be too terribly concerned about it but it is still a concern, I, and it's something that I'm keeping in mind while I work here. <laughs> Fried chicken factory's working. <laughs> that sound means we just cooked ourselves a chicken. <laughs> Now, I suppose I could just use TNT to blast this sucker and blow it all up, but I actually want to save the materials, so I'm not doing that. I know, it's crazy talk, isn't it? I actually want to reuse all these materials, because these things took forever to get. It took, took quite a long time to get all of these blocks, and I'm going to reuse them when I build the new mob grinder.
Gonna have to shuttle things back and forth down to the bottom so that I can get rid of extra stuff. And I also need to make sure to light this place up while I'm gone, otherwise I will have things spawning up here. Which I do not want. Let's go put this... Well, I'll just put a, a miscellaneous materials chest over here, things that we pull, pull down from there. Alright, well to those of you that have been wondering what this mob grinder looks like on the inside, now you know. This is what it looked like. I know many of you were here when we built it, but many of you were not. So, now you know. Now you don't have to go back and look at the previous episodes if you don't want to. All right, now the question is, I've, I've filled my inventory. It's still daylight. The question is, can I tear the whole thing down in five minutes and collect all these things before they despawn? Or should I stop and empty my inventory while it's still daylight so that I don't have to light this thing up? Hmm. Well, I think I probably could tear the rest of this down in under five minutes. I think I'm gonna play it safe. I think I'm going to do it this way. Now I know I'm losing a lot of materials over the side, but there's not much I can do about that. I don't really care to go down into the... Oh, hello. I don't really care to go down into the ocean and collect whatever it, whatever it is I've missed. That's a little too much. All right, this is the bottom layer of half slabs. This is it. After this is gone, the grinder is will be pretty much history. So we're going to take this out from the outside in, and then we'll take down the glass in the middle that make up the drop chute. And then we will go repair our pick, <laughs> because... This has done a number on the uh, on the old caving special here. Nothing left but the glass here, people. Nothing left but the glass. Well, there we go. Now we just need to take down the ladder.
All right, well, the mob grinder is history. It is gone. It will be replaced. It will be replaced with something better and faster and bigger and cooler. But I have to admit, I'm a little sad to see it gone. It did look so cool, and it served us so well for so long. <laughs> but all things must pass, and it is time to build something new. Unfortunately, that will have to wait for the next episode, because this is all the time I have to record right now. So, so once again, thank you for watching. If you like Fog's World, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your neighbors to come watch us here at Fog's World. And I will talk to you next time.